I'm here at the Tomahawk Fire Department with Melissa Neiman. Melissa, nice to meet you, and how are you this morning? I'm great, thank you so much for asking. Yes, of course, so we're giving you a huge congratulations because you got Firefighter of the Year at the Tomahawk Fire Department, and not only that, you are the first woman to do so. So when this happened, just tell me how you felt when you received the news. Well, this award is voted on by the members of the fire department, so that was a huge honor because everyone here is amazing. We are one big family and the year that we've had was very difficult with um, new COVID protocols and safety regulations and we basically had to shut down and we've had some losses in our department this year. So for them to give me this honor was very surprising because everybody works so hard and I'm, I'm just so grateful to be a part of this family. When I first heard this, I just wanted to know just all about you, you know, like, <laughs> so tell me where you're from and, and what made you want to get in this line of business? I am originally from Ironwood, Michigan. I grew up in a family of first responders. My dad was a firefighter, a fire instructor. My uncle was the fire chief of the Ramsey Fire Department, little old fire department. Um, when I heard there was an opening here at the department, I was so excited. I, I've always wanted to be a firefighter since I was little. And they took me with open arms and have given me some amazing training between here and Nicolay College. It's been amazing. And I love giving back to my community in this way. With it just being such a male-dominated industry, you know, what's the message you want to give women out there? Because they could be intimidated by it, but you know, we can do it too. Uh, anybody can do this. You have to put in the work. I'm not going to say it's been easy. It's been, uh, the training has been a long two-year process for me. I'm a working, full-time working mom on top of this volunteer firefighter. So you have to be able to put in the time and it takes a lot. It does. I have left birthday parties. I've came here on my anniversary in a dress going out to a fire call. You just have to put in the time. Knowing you're setting an example for just young girls and, and just women all around, uh, just tell me how that feels. It feels great. You know, I'm hoping that I can get young girls and, you know, I'm not going to say I'm a, a spring chicken myself. I'm nearly 40 years old. I got into this in my late 30s and you can do it. If it's something that you've always wanted to do, um, just put in the work, put in the time and you can do it. There's no excuse. You, you will have to let some things, put some things aside that you normally do, but it's totally worth it. It is worth it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Melissa, for talking with us and thank you for all that you do in the community. Thank you so much for coming to Tomahawk Fire Department.